To carry out electrofusion repairs to PE pipes, equipment were required as for electrofusion jointing. Measure the distance between the exposed pipe ends and cut the new pipe length to be inserted equal to the measured distance less 10 millimeters. Clean the pipe ends for a distance slightly greater than the overall length of the coupler. Scrape the pipe ends as described in the electrofusion jointing video but for the overall length of the coupler. Remove the pipe stops in the couplers and using a suitable marker pen draw a mark on each end of the pipe to be inserted which will be used to indicate where the mouth of each socket of the coupler should be positioned prior to fusion. Fusion jointing of the couplers can then be carried out as shown in the electrofusion video. For protector line pipes, the electrofusion couplers are positioned on the replacement pipe section since the protector line surprep scraper can only remove half the coupler length. Stub flange assemblies may be fitted to the pipe ends and then connected with a double flanged duct eye iron spacer. This method may be used where there is a risk of water in the pipe contaminating electrofusion joints during installation. Foam pigs can be used to temporarily seal the pipe bore. When electrofusion jointing of the stub flange assemblies has been completed, they can be removed before installation of the double flange ductile iron spacer. Ensure that the gaskets are centred properly between flanges before tightening. Nuts and bolts must be tightened as uniformly as possible using a torque wrench in diagonally opposite sequence progressively from a finger tight start.